What's going on guys, Chris Rennick here. And before we start this video, I just want to apologize to everyone that has been watching my channel every day. And I was a scumbag and I didn't upload last night because you know, my boy Grillo, the new COD just came out and I just wanted to be a bomb all day. So I decided to play all day. Anyways, one more new topic. If you haven't bought in the movie, now is your chance to get it. This is gonna be off the internet soon. So if you have wanted to get it and you've just been second guessing yourself, now is the time to do it because it's not gonna be lasting forever. You, you know what we're doing today? Look at this good old girl. So she's been under a tarp for two days now because it's been raining. That was another big reason why I didn't want to do anything. It was pouring all day yesterday. I don't have a shop here, so I was like, I'm not gonna go outside. There's literally no point. So here we are, today is a new day. We can finally uncover this hidden gem, this $100 hidden gem. Okay, I'm getting wet. Good job, Chris. Oh my God, there's a pool back here. How am I gonna do this? Ooh, I'm nervous. So we're gonna pull this back like that. Ooh, I think if I tug, there's a good possibility of me getting wet, but not the car. Fuck it, let's do it. Woo! Not bad. They get it wet. Ooh, I got a little wet, but it's okay. At least we tarped her. So anyways, as I was saying, I really want to get this car done today or literally 99% there. The only thing I'm uncertain that I want to do is the brakes because I don't have a lift here and we don't even have four jack stands to get this thing in the air completely. So I don't know if we're going to make it that far. We're definitely going to be driving it today. That's for sure. But I want to get a new door. I want to put some mirrors on it. I want to clean up the interior and I want to list this puppy for sale because I woke up this morning. And I'm like, holy crap. I have been in Connecticut for so long. Like I need to get back to Florida, man. I have been here for probably almost two months now and I've been paying bills there. All my cars are there. I have plans for my cars and I really want to work on the Civic. And here I am playing Call of Duty in my mom's basement with Grillo. So we got to change that. We need to get this thing gone and get this thing running great again. So got to run a few errands real quick and I'll catch up with you right here. Making a quick pit stop at the junkyard real quick. We need to grab that door and I'm also gonna take the driver's side mirror as well and I'm pretty sure there was a crack tombstone here which if there is I'll be great because I'll take what I can get for interior so far this video is kind of all over the place already but I am back at my mom's house hey how you doing so we're back in front of the Miata ran to the junkyard they're taking off the door right now while they did that I wanted to clean out the interior um, I don't have a vacuum or anything here so I have to tow this thing to the car wash to vacuum it all out. I'm gonna get some interior detailer, really try to clean up the dash and everything and kind of make this presentable. I literally took everything out and it was so disgusting because there was just a bunch of junk that like, someone was just trying to take out random shit of this car. Like where you rest your foot, like what was the point of taking that out? The seats are completely ruined. One doesn't even like recline or anything and it doesn't stick. So those are junk, thankfully. We have new seats in the back of the truck. So we're just gonna go to the car wash, vacuum this out, check out how dirty it is. Hopefully we can make this thing shine again. Almost forgot, before we go to the car wash, we need to stop at Carl's True Value, which I need eight of these survey says. These bolts right here, these are seat bolts. And for some reason there was absolutely no seat bolts besides this one, which I'm not complaining because I just needed one anyways. I love coming to Carl's True Value in Torrington because Cam's mom works here. Nicest lady on the planet. She always hooks me up. She always finds the bolts faster than I can find it too. So that's pretty cool. So let's try one of these bolts. We got some stainless steel ones. Look how rusty that hole is. Oh God. They thread in good. At least that one does. How deep is it? Keep threading. Wow, this thread's in really nice. For these rusty threads. Oh, that's perfect. I wonder what's wrong with this one. Whatever, I don't got time for this. Well, this worked out pretty damn con- Oh my God. Tell me that's fake. No way, it oh God. Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps just looking at this thing. Oh. That thing's huge. I don't even want to use this pump. I need to get rid of this thing. Hold on. Oh God. Oh. Oh, nothing can go my way, can it? Come on, you fucking ass. Watch, this one will work. Oh, great, there's not even hoses here. Nice. This is already working great into my favor. Now I have to try to back into one of these. Terrible at backing in. All right, well, I had to move my truck in the middle 
of his whole parking lot. Hopefully I don't get in trouble because that's where they leave the car wash and my car is literally blocking everything. So I'm gonna try to vacuum this as quickly as possible. I miss my shop. I miss Florida. This is too much. This took me only two times to try to do this. And it works, hell yeah. ASMR? <laughs> Goddamn leaves. Well guys, I'm pretty stoked with the progression of the Miata so far. I mean, the dude that owned it before me said it needed a top. And I'm like, how bad could the top really be? This is my first time actually pulling it up. So it definitely, definitely needs a soft top and the whole skeleton cage because like, this was so hard to put up. It's all bent and shit. Like, I don't even know how this happened. Someone must have fucked with that on purpose. But anyways, this is the interior now. It is still a little dirty. It's not perfect, but realistically, I've been here for about half an hour, 45 minutes already. I cleaned all the door panels. I cleaned the dash. Like, if you guys remember the dash, oh, I completely deleted all the sound detonation because it was all moldy and gross. So I got rid of all of that. The dash was just all gross, and now it's like finally like cleanish, and this is all good. We still have to take this back off because. I still need to un get a rig the fuel pump system, but we're gonna do that right after we go to the junkyard to pick that stuff up. But let's put this down. Ooh, Ugh. I wanted to just take that off, but let me know what you guys think, man. I mean, this thing looks like AIDS before. Now it like looks pretty respectable, so I'm pretty stoked on it. Let's go to the junkyard, get our junk door because that's gotta go. We got the mirrors and everything. Um, now that they have it off that whole shelf, I want to actually look in the interior, see if I can kind of clean this up anymore. But let's just stop talking and get to the junkyard. <sighs> Man, I wish I had boots just dedicated to this junkyard because I'm like walking and there's just mud everywhere. But good news is we got the door. Bad news is they put the car back up there, but they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna take it back off the rack because we're gonna take a look at the soft top. If the soft top is usable and we can like kind of just like tape it up, just so something that I don't have to constantly put a tarp over it and get the interior ruined, I would like to just have something there to just help it out and it will help with the sale. 100% so we're gonna get that Miata down <sighs> so bad news for the good old girl here they don't have a top the top is like completely ruined it's almost as bad as this one so I was like screw it we're not gonna do that they don't have any tombstones that's a big problem for me because I really want to get this interior finished up but I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go to Anton's grandparents right now and they have a tombstone in there it's a little cracked but it's all right because if I can just get one in to make it look more presentable anything helps well, I guess this is my favorite place because I'm always here, but we are in the backyard of Broken Dreams. You like this place? It's whatever. <sighs> you know what I need help with? We're what? gonna try to push this over. I got that. Okay, you do it by yourself. Yeah, watch. Okay. Make sure it don't fall on you. 100% there's a billion. No, just get in there, girl. Go, 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 stop, go. Stop, stop, don't push. I need a good grip. Just hit the, put, yeah, there you go. Okay, ready? Yep. Dang! <laughs> I didn't think I was actually gonna do that! <laughs> I feel like a beast! How sick was that? All right, now your next job is to get in here. I'm not doing that. What? I'm not getting in that. What are you talking about? You got me fucked up. It's nice in here. What do you want me to do, actually? Take that tombstone out. What tombstone? The tombstone. What tombstone? The tombstone. This thing. Ew, it smells like everything that's not supposed to smell like, I know. Okay, well, I actually don't want to be here long, so I'm just gonna do this real quick. Um, it's AIDS in here. It actually is AIDS, but hey, hey, no gas tank because it is in that one now. Hell yeah, I'm gonna do this real quick. Like I said, she's a little broken, but it's gonna look a lot better than what's in the car now, which is nothing. Hopefully, I say this every time, hopefully Redneck Miata, I won't have to see you again. Look at this poor FMU. So this is a real Vortec FMU, and she is dead. So that's no eBay garbage. That's some old 90s Vortec. Heck yeah. You want to sell that? You want to buy it? Yeah, I do. How much? <laughs> uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I wasn't planning on selling it. Okay, well, if you ever come up with a number, let me know. I'm always trying to buy them. You're that way shooting me out of it. I am. Yeah. Have a good day. Well guys, we are at my shop in Connecticut, which my shop is my trailer in front of my mom's house. So, what we need to do right now is we need to take this door off, 
Luckily, since I was always a Miata butter, I found an old steering wheel in my mom's garage. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take the airbag out of this one, put it in this car, so then we can have a full interior. What's up, dude? Say oh hi to god. everyone. Oh my god. What? Oh, there was a tick on me. A tick? Me. It was one of those. I've had Lyme disease, oh so. Oh my god, it, 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 it was one of those. Give a thumbs up, right? There it is, there it is, there it is. Wow. Whoa! Oh! Okay, well, we're gonna take this door out. Wow, man, this interior is looking so much better. Let's get this door off, would ya? First time taking a door off. I got the, the four 12 mils out of the door and I was going to take this like little dowel pin right here. It's probably not what you call it, but this nice little pin. And I was hammering it up and the door completely just fell off. Bad news is those two wires snapped off, which I think they are for the speaker. I can't, I don't know that for sure, but I'm almost positive it is and they're somewhere in here. Honestly, that's like the least of my concern right now though. I just wanna get this thing cleaned up, but if I can actually wire it in real quick, because I did fucked it up. Check this out, the wires literally snapped in the worst place possible. Well, I'm gonna have to fix that later because I have no way of fixing that. All right, so good news is I literally just unplugged that plug Plug the new, new door in, everything is good. I didn't break anything. Ignore that last clip, because everything is good. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna throw this door on, and we'll have a minty-ish door. Well guys, good news, the door is on. Bad news is, it's six o'clock and it is pitch black out. I woke up pretty late today because, you know, I thought it was a good idea to play Call of Duty all night, so kind of slept in a little bit and it kind of messed us up. I mean, I think we made a decent amount of progress. It's so hard to make progress, like when you're working on the side of the road, we don't have any of the right tools because I've literally been running around all day getting bolts, had to go to the car wash to clean out the car, had to go to the junkyard twice to get the door, and had to go across town to Anton's grandparents to get some parts when, in reality, when I'm in Florida, I have all this stuff within like eight minutes for me, so it's not that big of a deal. We can get so much done so much quicker and so much more even though when it's dark out because I have a shop and we're not working on the side of the road. Do you think it's too dark to continue working? Oh, yes. Yeah. It is very dark. Cooper wouldn't even hold the light for me. Why not, dude? Really? My hand hurts because I had to hold a phone. <laughs> okay, well, um, I think me and Courtney are just going to go get some wings because Applebee's is serving. 25 cent wings, mother. Mm -mm. I know we're not trying to swear anymore. I know. So. Well... Bit stop myself there. I say that, but I, I can't help it. I can't help from swearing. But this door. Oh, did I even show you guys the door? Well, the door's right here. Wow, it looks so much better on camera than it does in real life. This door definitely needs to get buffed out. Like, there's so much, like, white stuff on it. I can I cannot believe it's... Look at this in the camera. It looks brand new. <laughs> it, it looks really good. Take, don't, don't even tell them it looks better on camera. I'm gonna be honest. No, it looks like straight dookie on the car right now. <laughs> Um, I will have this like lightly detailed before I sell it. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go have a wing challenge. You ready? Wing challenge? Wing challenge, girl. Okay. So this is my outro right now. I'm very happy because you know why? Why? You know why. What am I gonna about to do? Oh, you're about to play Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> so she's gonna watch Netflix. I'm gonna play Call of Duty all night. You think that's a good idea? Whatever. I'm sorry that we didn't get much progress today. Like I said earlier, it's just really hard to make progression when I'm literally working on the side of the road and I woke up late, which hopefully I don't wake up late again tomorrow. Anton is actually bringing um, his downpipe to Morfab tomorrow, so hopefully we can get his car all situated. I really do want to leave soon. What do you think? you think he's ready to leave? Yeah, I'm ready to leave. <laughs> yeah, it's time to get the hell out of here. But anyways, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more, and we'll see you on the next one that was okay you gotta shut it though wait open your mouth that's better i don't want just do it just open it